Hello everybody, this is Garrison from BlenderGuys.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a grassy lawn. Now, most people make a grassy meadow tutorial, but I thought I would go for a more uniform grass. Now, we're, we aren't going to be making this scene, but this guy. It'll be a grass plain, a fence, and some sky. So, load up Blender, delete the cube, and add a plane. Scale it up, tab and edit mode, W, subdivide. Set the cuts to 15. And we want it to be kind of bumpy since all, all ground isn't completely flat. So that's why we'll use the fractal to 0.2. That might be a little too much. Point one. And tab out of edit mode and sh check smooth shading. And next, we'll go over to the particle panel, add a new one, name this grass, change it from emitter to hair, and check advanced. We'll set the number to 8,000 and random. And under the velocity normal, we'll set to 0.1. And we want the grass kind of wavy since grass probably doesn't stick up straight. So we'll set the brownian amount to 0.05. And that'll just add a variation between them. Done with that. Oh, wait. And we also want to do 0.006 dampening, and that'll just add a realistic effect to it. And under the render panel, set the material to 2. So that'll basically take the second material slot, because the first one will be um, dirt, and then the next one will be grass. Check strand render and B spline, and then we'll change the random amount to 0.5. And under children, we'll select interpolated, and that'll add a lot more grass. And we'll go with 150 for the render and 10 for the display is fine. And under clump, we'll do negative 0.6, I think. Yeah, looks good. And the shape will do 0.05. And under the length, we'll do 0.85. And the threshold will bring up to 0.5. And for the end point, we'll do 0.01. And the random, 0.05. Uh, whoa, that's too much. 0.01. Yeah, there we go. And we're going to change this over to cycles. And two more options pop up. This one's fine, but we're just going to be messing with this one. So set the shape to negative 0.75. So that'll just determine whether the grass grows like this or like this. So the lower value you go, I think it gets more like this one. So we're going for more of a grass, not fur. So we're going to do it sharper. And the root will set to point 0.1. That ought to be good. Okay, now we'll set up some lighting. So we're going for an outdoor lighting. So that'll be a sun, use nodes, and set it to strength three. And we kind of want a yellowy, pale color. So we're going to rotate this like it would be like that. Then we're going to duplicate it, rotate it like this. We're going to make it a darker blue. 
This will be like the sky color and set the strength to one. And the camera, just get a good view and then push control alt number pad zero and that'll put the camera where your view is. Zoom this out a bit. Actually, I want it on this side since the sun's over here. Okay. Now for the dirt material. We'll have to unwrap this. So open up a new window. UV image editor. U and unwrap. We're going to scale this up. Roughly that size. And under the first slot, we're going to add a new one. Name this ground. Add an image texture. Open. I got this one off CG Textures. It's gravel. 0, 1, 20. And if I just load this up. It's this guy. So we just want to scale it up. It's a good dirt. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Now for the grass, we're going to add a new one. We can close this open up a new one for the node editor we can add a new one and we are going to make this a greenish about this color so this is what I used for my first scene if you want to take the hex value and put it in yours it's 65723E next we're going to add a glossy shader Mix it with a mix shader. Set the factor to 0 0.05 and the roughness to 0 0.1. Next, we're going to duplicate this mix shader and add a translucent shader since grass is a little bit uh, light can shine through grass. And we're going to set this to a yellowy, pretty pale though about that and then set the factor to 0.1 and if we drop down this preview tab that's what it'll look like and if we change it over to strands it's looking pretty good now we'll do a test render I'll first save your file and we'll do a test render okay and here's the final result well not the final but there's way too much grass so X out of that and go back over here and under children select 100 give that another render and we'll see what it looks like okay so we're gonna have to do some more tweaking because the grass is too thick if you see right there and we'll just go all the way down at the bottom under cycle hair settings and change the scaling to 0.005 and the children will have to bump back up since we just made them thinner okay so it's starting to look better but one thing I will do is we're gonna add a picture of clouds for the sky add an image texture in the backgrounds and this one I also got off CG textures it is this guy. Skies 0239. If we go over to the world settings, we need to add a input texture coordinate. And I'm going to use camera. If we just turn off the particles for now, we can go into rendered viewport. I'm going to rotate the camera. about right there and then I'm going to add a mapping node under vector we just need to adjust it on the Y just about there okay so next we're going to do that white picket fence so go over to a new layer shift A add cube 
scale it, but not on the Z axis, so push Shift Z. That's going to be our post. We're going to tap into edit mode, bring it up so the origin point is roughly at the bottom. I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to scale it along the Y axis. We can lower this now. Select the top face, extrude along the Z, size, X. They're looking too skinny, so I'll scale them up on the x-axis. And then I'm going to add an array modifier. I'm going to select this one, duplicate it along the x. I'm just going to keep doing that shift D x. And they don't all have to be perfectly spaced because in real life, that's not how it is. It would be impossible to get it perfectly spaced. So you just want a roughly a good amount. I think I'll do... 10. And then we're going to duplicate this one again. Rotate it along the Y. Size on the Y and pull it behind. Keep scaling along the X. You want to bump this out on this side so it's about the same gap. Duplicate it, bring it down along the Z. And now you have a picket fence. Okay, so hold down shift and select the other layer. Scale it down. We want to rotate along the Z 90. Grab along the X. You have to rotate this. We're going to have to line up the sky again since I rotated the camera. That looks pretty good. Okay, now we'll give this another test render. Okay, it's starting to look pretty good, but there's still one thing. The grass still has a little too many children. So, we're going to set this to 120. Okay, here's the end result. I mean, you could keep tweaking it for quite a while, but I think I'll stop here. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and thanks for watching.